Welcome to the Light Your Kitchen project from GE Lighting, a savant company. Get to know our kitchen enhancing puck fixtures and how to install them. Our puck fixtures may be small, but they're easy to install and add a lot of style. In this video, we are going to take you through the different ways you can use them, the variety of color settings, and the versatile mounting and installation processes. Puck fixtures can be used in a few different ways. They can be placed inside cabinets with a glass front to bring your kitchen to life, or added below cabinets to create stylish spotlight accents and increase counter visibility. Best of all, they can be linked with plug-in and direct wire fixtures so you can create a customized connected space. Before you begin any of these installations, we advise you to read through the product instructions completely and proceed with caution. Make sure you follow each step carefully. If you have any concerns with handling wiring, you can either hire a qualified electrician for the installation, use the fixture's plug-in capabilities, or check out our battery-powered options. There are multiple ways you can install puck fixtures. For a sleek, recessed mount look, skip ahead to 4 minutes and 12 seconds in the video. For a traditional surface mount process or a surface mount with concealed wires, just continue watching. When you open the package, you'll see either three or five puck fixtures, depending on the pack you purchased, three or five 12-inch linking cables, one 60-inch power cord, six or 10 mounting screws, two cable clips, one terminal cap, one adhesive pad, and one reference template. You'll also need safety glasses, a voltage tester, a power drill, a Phillips screwdriver, and a wire stripper. If you're hard wiring, you'll need a one and a quarter inch hole saw if you're concealing the wires, and a three inch hole saw if you're performing the recessed process. And we offer a few additional accessories sold separately that could go a long way in enhancing your space as well, like a 24 inch or 36 inch linking cable, an outlet and USB adapter, an additional 60 inch power cord. And finally, you'll need our junction box accessory with the master on off switch to power your fixture by direct wire. However, it's not necessary for plug-in. Now here's the surface mount process with and without concealing the wires. Okay, so step one, turn off the power at the circuit breaker to the power source you're installing the fixture in. Step two, separate the trim ring by pushing on the edge of the puck assembly like this. Now. Decide if you want to run the wires along the surface or conceal them for a cleaner look. If you'd like to conceal them, carefully follow the included reference template in case you plan on adding more puck fixtures. Next, make two one and a quarter inch holes. Then run your wire through the trim ring and then the holes. Tilt the puck slightly and then secure the trim ring to the mounting surface by tightening two mounting screws in the pilot holes. And gently push the puck back into the trim ring if you're using the concealed wire method and interested in linking additional fixtures, skip to 3 minutes and 40 seconds in the video. If not, follow these steps. This is step 3. Place the trim ring in the desired position, paying attention to the slots on the cables. Then, use the screwdriver to insert the two mounting screws, which work well for cabinet bottoms that are at least 3 8 inches. You may need to pre-drill a pilot hole for the screws. Step 4. Insert the lamp into the trim ring, making sure the AC in terminal is pointed at the socket. Step five, repeat the steps for each remaining puck. Keep in mind that the maximum distance is approximately 19 inches, unless you purchase one of our longer linking cables. Also, you can only link up to 10 pucks or bar fixtures, or a total of 220 watts. Step six, cover the last terminal with a terminal cap and use the adhesive pad to stick it under the cabinet. Then, plug in the power cord and turn the power back on at the circuit breaker to make sure everything is working correctly. Now, for a sleeker, cleaner look, here's the recessed installation process. Step one, turn off the power at the circuit breaker to the power source you're installing the fixture in. Step two, separate the trim ring by pushing on the edge of the puck assembly like this. Step three, Using the three inch hole saw, drill a hole into the mounting surface. Step four, pass the cables through the hole and insert the puck, making sure to pay attention to the cable direction. The AC in terminal should be pointed at the socket. Step five, repeat the process for the remaining pucks and connect them with the linking cables. Keep in mind that the maximum distance is approximately 19 inches, unless you purchase one of our longer linking cables. 
Also, you can only link up to 10 pucks or bar fixtures or a total of 220 watts. And finally, step six. Cover the last terminal with a terminal cap. Then, plug in the power cord and turn the power back on at the circuit breaker to make sure everything is working correctly. If your fixture allows you to switch between multiple color temperatures, simply twist the trim like this. There you have it. Three different ways you can put a spotlight, or five, on your kitchen. For other Light Your Kitchen project installations or a pre-planning guide to your next upgrade, click here.